How we doing guys? Sam just here and today how we doing? Manchester United one, Aston Villa zero. We walk away with the one nil victory. Make sure you smash the like button, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, on the contrary of the game, pretty back and forth game. And we walk away with the one nil Bruno Fernandez with the goal to seal it and give us the three points. So another one zero win with Marcus Rashford involved in the goal. It's not even an assist because Emmy Martinez saved it and it just parried back to Bruno. So, I mean, it's, it's just one of those games that's super comfortable. And we just walk away with the 1-0 victory. There were some times in the game where the passes were sloppy and stuff. I mean, it, you know, the rain and stuff. It's, it's always raining over there. It's always raining in, in England. Every time, it's always raining over there. It's got to be miserable. And it's, 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 I, it's never sunny over there. I think maybe every blue moon is sunny. It's always raining over there. That would that would get irritating real fast. But yeah, you know, the game itself, I mean, it's just some of the passes were not good today. Some of the decision making was not that good today from some of the players, but it is what it is, man. It's not the new in sports. Some of the decision making situations are just not good. So that's pretty much it. I mean, honestly, if if I could think of a man of the match, it would probably be Oh, uh, I'll say Casemiro. He played very well today. Um very, very well in that CDM position once again. Very good footballer, very good player. And he did his thing today. Just did what he needed to do. And we walk away with the victory. Um, you know, in terms of Aston Villa, really didn't have any bite going forward. Nothing really ch to trouble us. It was pretty simple from like minute 40, like minute 30 onwards. They really didn't have any punch. They didn't really have too many shots. I mean, the victor landed off clearance off the line. That was that was really their only dangerous spell. Like maybe like five minutes was their only little dangerous you know encounter in the game. But other than that, honestly, it was super super comfortable. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, just one of those one nil drag out games. Very methodical, very slow games. Not slow, but just one of those boring one nil games. So if we take the victory, we walk away with it. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the game. Make sure you guys smash the like button. I'm going to subscribe, man. And honestly, top four is pretty much secured. Um, I think we're, we're good. I think we're with nine points ahead of Tottenham now. So it's going to be really... I don't know who's below us. Is it Newcastle? I think Newcastle's in fourth, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say Newcastle. And we're in third right now. So it'll be Newcastle and Tottenham fighting it out. And I think Newcastle will get top four. Um, nobody questions how that dead Newcastle team is is in the top four. That that Newcastle team is trash. Man. I mean, there's not like it, it's it's that's a championship team. That team is trash. But yet you got Isaac doing step overs past three or four players. Man, like I don't I don't believe that. But it is what it is, man. So yeah, we take the three points, we walk away, and top four is pretty much done. We went like nine points ahead. We should be good. So the big meet. The big drink is June 3rd, and that's a while from now. That's still over a month away, so still got plenty of time. They're still going to put these in between games, but we are pretty much got top four. It's pretty much nailed on at this point. Not mathematically, but it's it's pretty much done. It, and, unless we just, like, start losing, like, game after game. Like, if we lose, like, three games in a row and Tottenham win three games in a row, which is still possible, then it's pretty much over. So, yeah, guys, smash that button, comment, and subscribe. See you guys, and I'm out. Peace.